Tens of thousands of flights have been canceled during this pandemic, especially international ones. And that is making it very difficult for a father and son to get back home to Houston. Yeah, listen to this. Nearly two months ago, they went to South Africa for a vacation. And little did they know their vacation would be extended for much longer than they wanted. Our Taisha Walker talked with them today. She's live at Bush Airport now, an airport they hope to reach very soon, Taisha. Hey, Chris. Yeah, I spoke with the father and son duo. They tell me they love South Africa, but not this much. They flew out of Bush Airport on February 29th to South Africa. And for the last several weeks, they've unsuccessfully been trying to make their way home. It was the dream trip for a Houston family exploring South Africa on a motorcycle. It's a beautiful country. People are nice. We've enjoyed it. Yeah, great scenery. Cecil Nadiver and his son Joshua were only planning to spend a month in South Africa. It's been pretty much an adventure from start to finish. But the pandemic altered their trip. The father and son are now stuck in their Pretoria Airbnb. Uh, since everything kind of hit the fan over here, uh, about the fourth week of our trip, uh, all of our flights began to be uh, pushed back and pushed back and to the point where they were basically canceled because the South African government was no longer willing to, to allow flights in or out. The guards gave us a note with a number, no one answered. Joshua says they've tried reaching out to the American embassy there to get on a flight. She was able to secure repatriation flights for American citizens back at, er, in early April. But due to Cecil's health, they decided to wait. Not very much was known about this virus. Uh, my father's elderly, he's almost 70 years old, he has health issues. We decided just to hold off a little bit. Now, the two can't get a flight home. They keep hitting barricades. Their two flights last week were canceled and another was grounded. If we can get a flight pretty much anywhere in the world, uh, I think we'd be able to, to get out. But it's just South Africa has put these, these draconian type laws in their books. The father and son say commercial flights in and out of South Africa are not operating without the embassy making sure that it happens. We're told by a spokesperson for Bush Interna Intercontinental Airport that those repatriation flights have been coming into the airport here on a weekly basis. Reporting live at IAH, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.